Australian region cyclone possible, moving towards the west. And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for December 31st. So it's the last day of the year and I must say it is going out with a whimper. With an Australian cyclone possible, although moving away from the country, it will only be of any threat at all to Christmas Island and the Cocos Keeling Islands. Even then it may pass substantially south to where it won't be any kind of concern. In the Atlantic, it's 152 days until next year's hurricane season. There's no warnings or any systems active and there's a big uh, extra tropical low there swirling up towards the Azores now. One or two people were tracking that one for a while, but it won't develop. In the Eastern Pacific, we've not got much going on here as well, just a little bit of activity over the central part of the ocean there, as well as off the coast of Central America, a few thunderstorms blowing up. In general, the Eastern Pacific looking as it normally does at this very late part of the year. In the Western Pacific, it is building up with a few monsoonal thunderstorms, particularly off the east of the southern Philippines, as well as a secondary area near Vietnam, which in another universe might have become a brief tropical cyclone like Pabuk last week, but it isn't and probably won't. In the North Indian Ocean, there's also a weak little area of uh, disturbed weather off Sri Lanka as well, delivering locally heavy rainfall. But apart from that, a very quiet basin as expected. In the Southern Hemisphere then, this is where all the action is, but even here, the percentage chances have been toned down for those two areas of interest that we're watching, and even now might still be actually generous. 20% and 10% for that Western system and the Eastern one respectively. 5S still going with its remnants, but most notably that 60% behind it heading into its territory. And what's left of 6P, now well away from Fiji, moving off eastwards, uh, it's to the north of Tonga, continuing to move out over the Pacific, won't be affecting anyone and probably won't be traceable very soon. So let's take a look at satellite imagery of all the areas around the world today. Well here is the North Atlantic having a little look here in the western part of the basin and very little going on. A big front moving off the US east coast was that severe weather uh, impact a few days ago. Here's the eastern Pacific, a closer look at that little mass of clouds down there extending from the intertropical convergence zone upwards, not doing very much however. Here's the Western Pacific showing those two systems on either side of the Philippines. They do look quite interesting, uh, but no indications that they are ever going to develop, but could produce a significant amount of rain. Well, here's another view of just how poor the Southwest Indian Ocean systems are looking. Uh, there they are, very poor indeed, not much going on with them at all. And on the contrary, this massive system here uh, in the Australian region, that's our 60% chance, looks like it could be even better than that. To the west there, you could just about see the remnants of 5S, no convection there. And this is what's left of 6P, continuing on eastwards away from Fiji, well out into the South Pacific. Here's a closer look at what's left of 5S, if if you wanted to see it. Uh, not much to tell you about this at all apart from the fact that it is completely down and out. You can see all of these floaters, by the way, on the Force 13 website as well, force13.com slash satellite. There's this other system, that's that one, 6P. Uh, uh, it is still, yep, moving off towards the east, not too far from Tonga at this point, but you probably won't really feel it very much. Very little convection. And this is one of those areas of interest in the Southwest Indian Ocean, the better one I would say, the western one, just off the northeastern tip of Madagascar. Um, it's got a slight bit of rotation there, but very, very little convection, uh, so not much I can tell you about that one. And this is the massive bulk of convection, yes it's very sheared, but huge convective tops from this system, which is pushing, continuing further towards the west. I clocked it just before at minus 98 degrees Celsius uh, cloud tops, which is extremely low in terms of number, or extremely high in terms of altitude, uh, extending way up into the atmosphere in that southern little area there, just blowing up uh, massive amounts of hot towers. 
And here's another little system over Vanuatu right now. You can see here a few thunderstorms blowing up and a little bit of rotation possibly starting up there. Could we be in for another uh, little bit of a jump scare like what we saw with 6P? Well, we'll have to wait and see on that, but no real signs of it yet. Here's another wide shot of the Atlantic from Go 16 uh, showing that other big system on the right hand side heading towards the Azores, uh, but really no inkling of a tropical system at all there, even though we were possibly monitoring it earlier. And here's this other system near Bermuda at this point, if it had a center, um, a few thunderstorms possible over there. And the Caribbean region looking relatively quiet, a lot of cloud cover, uh, but generally it is high cloud there in this region. I think we're looking at the Eastern Pacific again, yep there it is, uh, a lot of cloud cover over Central America, uh, a few thunderstorms here and there, especially on south facing coasts. And this is the Central Pacific, looking around Hawaii, pretty decent conditions here, it's much further north where you're getting frontal activity, maybe a few storms up there. Um, and here's the Western Pacific, very little going on outside of those low latitude thunderstorms, uh, and again another one heading towards the Philippines today. And this is the North Indian Ocean, again very little going on further north, but a few thunderstorms near Sri Lanka and possibly the southern tip of India today. Southwest Indian Ocean wide shot, a lot of uh, convective activity over Africa and over parts of Madagascar, uh, general thunderstorms. Uh, and then looking again, it's difficult to miss, isn't it? The huge burst of convection there from this system to the northwest of Australia. Um, it is actually, part of it is over Christmas Island, the northern part of that convection. Uh, so they could be getting a fair bit of rainfall from it. And here's the South Pacific showing very little going on, nothing, nothing really standing out, apart from on the left-hand side, that area of interest near Vanuatu. So there we go, let's take a look at some sea surface temperatures across the Atlantic, it's still as we left it yesterday and if anything those temperatures are continuing to decrease a little bit more around the Caribbean, Puerto Rico holding on to 28 degrees Celsius for now, maybe not for much longer however. In the western Pacific temperatures staying decent off the coast of the Philippines, 30 degrees plus uh, possible. Uh, maybe not quite 30 degrees actually anymore, but Palau near 30 degrees there, obviously much cooler further north. Off the coast of Madagascar, that's the southwest Indian Ocean's hot spot right now, over 30 degrees Celsius there. Central part of the ocean as well near Diego Garcia, also another little hot spot. But look how boiling it is off the coast of northern and western Australia here, up and above 32 degrees in one or two spots off western Australia and in the Gulf of Carpentaria, hugging the southern shoreline. Uh, the Coral Sea also really getting some elevated temperatures now as well, up to 30 degrees there quite comfortably. Well, it is a little bit above average around Australia, but especially so around Western Australia, four or five degrees above normal. Southwest Indian Ocean, little cool spot now where we had Chido and these other areas of interest that might be uh, tampering with those systems developing right now. Warm near Madagascar and Mozambique. Uh, Equator Equatorial Pacific is cool, of course, still. Western Pacific still warm near the Philippines. Oceanic heat content <coughs> is also looking good around Guam towards the west and also east in a few spots still at this point. Uh, near the Philippines not quite as much now and in the very low latitudes still plenty of energy but very little opportunity. And in the South Pacific we've got this big big long area of uh, very high elevated amounts of oceanic heat content. Uh, tons of heat energy there stretching from the Solomon Islands eastwards to north of Samoa uh, and it is starting to trickle down further south. GFS computer model for the next five days shows what becomes of these systems in the South Indian Ocean. Uh, obviously this main system that we've been watching, there it is again, going off towards the west-southwest, becoming a hurricane force system by the looks of things towards the end of that five-day period. So certainly with the amount of energy in that convection, if it can push away that wind shear, then this system may have an opportunity to become uh, a little bit of a stronger storm than what we've been seeing in that area lately. It's not tropical, <clears throat> but I wanted to show you the North Atlantic 
because there's a big bomb of a cyclone blowing up uh, before it hits Newfoundland towards the end of this five day period. There it is, early January, big, very powerful uh, system, cyclonic, but not tropical, uh, going on to affect Newfoundland. Uh, still a little ways out, but that could be a significant impact for Newfoundland with clearly hurricane force winds. Well, we're taking a look at the Southwest Indian Ocean as far as rainfall is concerned, and you can see it here, uh, a few of these areas getting elevated rainfall, but the forecast has trended down. We were talking about maybe 10 inches in a few of these spots, 250 millimeters, but those numbers will be very few and far between now, and it will mostly be out at sea. We are still looking at possibly six inches for a few of the Seychelles and for the northern tip of Madagascar, that's 150 millimeters and lesser amounts further south. That's the rainfall. Let's take a look at day 5 through 10 then. What else happens to that system in the Southern Hemisphere, South Indian Ocean? Well, there it is, continuing on its merry way southwestwards. It's not being tugged by the front yet, and finally it starts to recurve much further west than what we were looking at yesterday. Uh, but when it does, it finally turns very quickly, and then back towards the southeast eventually. Of course, there are no land areas here, uh, so this system's out on its own. And and one of those that we can watch in peace. Off it goes towards the southeast. Scan the barcode and that will take you through to the Force of the Team merch store where you can take a look at all our items as well as our full season and individual storm animations at any time. As well as our weighted 1775 days for Hone t-shirt. It's a lousy t-shirt man. Into the Silly Range, day 10 through 16. This is what we've got right now across the Indian Ocean. And again, another system possibly developing squarely in the middle of the basin there. And look at that, North Indian Ocean possible cyclone there as well. We touched on that in yesterday's update. Uh, but a very large cyclone also in the Southern Hemisphere. Both of these very speculative, very long way out. This is day 10 to 16, generally over two weeks out. It's not really anything to consider yet. But something that might keep you interested. And in Australia as well, another one there that just slipped by, a cyclone that forms on the coast and then moves back off briefly, strengthens a bit, then moves back in again, and a bit of brown ocean effect, becoming nearly at hurricane equivalent strength there. Stalls for a very long time over that area, so if that was to happen, that could be a big issue for those communities uh, along that region, uh, the Pilbara mainly, uh, with some pretty strong winds as well as it moves inland. That is still a long way out though. That last landfall I think was the 13th of January, so it's a fair distance. Well, back on this day in 1973, something not far away from there actually, it was Cyclone Erica, which made a Category 1 hurricane equivalent landfall uh, in Western Australia, very close to Exmouth, I believe, uh, Category 3 on the Australian scale, I think, and then quickly uh, nudged off towards the west and moved back out to sea uh, as a much weakened system. We also had Deirdre Delinda, delightful name, and 13S in the southwest Indian Ocean, which would get named a little bit later as it moved off the southern coast of Madagascar. Well, back to today, and it is, of course, the last day of the year. Force 13 is doing New Year Live from 9pm UTC until at least 1am with an after party in our Discord server. We'll also be starting Hyperworth Bulletins again on January the 1st on the Extra Channel. And we're also running a New Year Countdown stream live right now on the Force 13 channel, which you can also check out. So, plenty of stuff going on at this time, even though the tropics are, let's say it, dead. Next name in the Australian region is Sean. Southwest Indian Ocean, the Kaledi, and the South Pacific. It is Pitta. We'll see you again soon. No bulletin tomorrow. We should be back on the second. Become an ultimate fan today.